How's everybody doing? Welcome back to my channel. This week, I got my clan flying back in to do more on the sleeve that we started on his left leg. This time, we're gonna be doing the inner calf and it's gonna be an insane project. So with that being said, let's get this day started. Let's go. <laughs> I'm gonna Happen? shave you first. I got most of it, but probably a little bit. I think I missed some, per perhaps. Little areas, little areas. I didn't, I really, I didn't really try. I got to way too close. Ella se cambió hasta el nombre. No me deja ni un mensaje. I was gonna shave my whole thing again, but then I was like, this is boring. I'm sorry. <laughs> What's your uh, foot swollen for like three days? Yeah, when you got a four tattoo? days. Four days? Yeah, right. four. This is your first tattoo? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so we have my client here. It turns out that it is his first tattoo. This is gonna be a two day project. Were you able to walk? No, huh? Yeah, I could walk. Yeah? Yeah. But it was just swollen. I remember it was really cold out because oh. we went to Wisconsin uh -huh. and I was running to the car and I was like waddling. Because <laughs> like all here was just tight as fuck. Oh. Like, I couldn't even, barely even like bend my knee at all because oh everything was just God. so, yeah. That's crazy. But yeah, it, it, it was done healing and like, peeling rather in like, I think it was only like a week. Wow. Or like eight, nine, eight or nine days maybe? Oh, that's pretty good. I brought an extra sweater this time, so. An extra what? An extra sweater, so I can do like this oh. with my hood. It was cold last time, huh? I was cold. Gee. I was nervous coming today. <laughs> yeah? <laughs> yeah? I peed like five times. Already, <laughs> so I think I got it all out. <laughs> there you go. What's going on, Zach? You need me to turn more? No, you're fine. Okay. Actually, I'm gonna have you lay back and then stretch. Like I am gonna cut it off around this area because this is where the other tattoo ended. And I will be adding a Milky Way on this corner. Couple stars here. I'm gonna freehand those just so I can have, so I can move with the flow. Oh, nice. And then, as far as here on the top, we're gonna be adding a moon somewhere around here. I do wanna finish the whole thing before we decide where we're gonna add the moon, but I'm thinking around this area would be nice. Somewhere around here, just to uh, kind of bring it, all, uh, bring it all together. Just having this alone, it's already like the main piece. Yeah. Additions. Whatever you want to add yeah. in here, I honestly yeah. do not care. Yeah. Whatever you want to put in there, you yeah. think it's looking look good, yeah. Send yeah, because this is the main thing, yeah. this right here. Yep. With the Milky Way around All the extra area. stuff, you can add it. If yeah. you want to add some stuff, this just color. do it. So the colors that I'm going to be using for this piece, solid black, yes sir. And I'm going to make this like a medium. I have this purple here. Uh, let me see the name of it. It is... Uh, Amethyst, nice. Like, there you go, nice. And that was world famous. Next, I'm gonna use uh, Revolution. It's called Classic Purple. For my blue, I'm using Radiant, navy blue. Oh, nice, I'm gonna have a, a few of these. Because I'm gonna be mixing back and forth with my white. I have a... Um, a royal blue here by Ra Radiant. And my white. 
think I want another ink cap. As far as my needles, I'm using the higher level tattoo supply needles, uh, Tecpal with a 14 round liner. Cool. I'll probably use a 17 curve mag. 14 round shader just in case my 14 round liner is not doing what I want it to do. And also, I'm gonna pull out a 11 curve mag. Just in case a 17 is way too wide and I need to pack like smaller areas. And that's it. I think that's gonna be my setup for today. The approach that I wanted to take with the face was I wanted to apply my darkest purple first and that was going to give me the shape of the face because as I was looking at my reference I was getting a little confused on how I was going to navigate and I decided to start with applying my black then my darkest purple to then start transitioning onto my lightest purple. Uh, and here on the nose what I'm doing is using my 11 curve mag and with solid black that way uh, I start shaping the nose uh, slowly. I'm using a 5.0 voltage and my hand speed looks like I'm moving it at a good pace that way I'm not irritating the skin. Using a higher voltage for me it wouldn't work because my hand speed is already used to a 5.0 so if I was to even attempt to uh, use a higher voltage I will probably damage the skin maybe even scar it because I'm not used to that hand speed and that voltage And now I'm gonna start applying my darkest purple with my 11 curve mag and I'm gonna shape it. What I'm doing right now is pretty much just packing in my purple and in a way also feathering at the same time just to uh, kind of get me uh, comfortable to start applying it before transitioning to my lightest purple.
now that I'm done shaping the nose I'm ready to start mixing back and forth with my darkest purple and my lighter purple I'm looking for that one tone that's gonna help me shape the face better and it looks like I find I found it right away because I'm already comfortable with that tone um, I usually like to test it out in some corners just to kind of see what I have before fully committing to that tone and I was happy that I was able to find that tone that I was looking that I was looking for really fast so now I can just go all in and start packing it in With my 14 round liner, I'm going to start doing my scribble technique to create that galaxy effect. Uh, that way it's going to allow me to do that transition between the smoothness of the face to the roughness of the galaxy. So that is why I'm using a 14 round liner with a voltage of a 5.0. And as a reminder, I never change my voltage, I keep it the same throughout the whole entire session. Here I have uh, my darkest purple and what I'm doing is... Uh, you're doing the scribble technique and slowly spreading it out that way I create that effect that it's fading away with that tone that way in between those those gaps I'm able to pack my lightest purple and it is going to create that smooth transition <music> Now that I see what I wanted to see, I'm ready to start applying my lightest purple and in between those gaps, I'm applying it and packing it with the same technique, the scribble technique. I am doing the same exact thing, but I'm being careful on not overworking the skin with uh, where I already applied my darkest purple. With this technique, it allows me to move at a faster pace and I also don't irritate the skin as much because I'm not overworking the skin on a specific area. I'm constantly, I'm constantly moving around the skin and creating those textures so the skin, I don't give the, the, the skin a chance to even get close to getting irritated. So that is why at the end of my sessions, when I'm done, uh, it doesn't look red, it doesn't look irritated and that is because I don't give the skin a chance to get close to getting irritated. In that open skin that I have, I decided to mix my lightest purple with my yellow to create kind of like an orange kind of tone that way I can create a different kind of transition because in the middle of that gap I'm gonna apply a bright yellow that way it gives me more of that feel that it's like a nebula in the middle of the face and on this area I'm actually mixing my lightest purple with my blue to give me a different kind of purple because I definitely wanted a little bit more variety because I felt like the face was looking a little too plain for me a little too uh, you know just purple and light purple so I wanted a little bit more of a variety of colors 
to give the galaxy more to look at than just two colors. I can move with this. I feel like I'm moving. Yo, I like, I really like it. I can see why they would use this to do blackouts. Don't they use bigger ones? Yeah, bigger ones. Way bigger. But like I see Three why. times the size, right? Three times. I see those things, I, they're yeah, freaking they're massive. Oh, yo, this is crazy. Oh. I like it. We are done. Yes. We are done, my guy. Uh, you made it, bro. Wow. Wow. You made it. wow. Yeah, yeah. You're flexible. <laughs> <laughs> Good shit. You fucking made it, bro. What a day, bro. What a day. 12 hours. 12 hours. 12 hours. Oof. Man, the way this healed up is crazy. I'm super satisfied the way everything healed up. I mean, it looks vibrant. Look at all those colors, that contrast, especially that blue, those yellows. Man, uh, I know a lot of you uh, were asking how is it gonna look when it healed, and this is how it looks. I mean, it's crazy. It's crazy. Details. The meteors, man. I'm super happy that way it turned out and uh, we just added the piece in the inner calf which uh, I'm going to be showing you right now.